it's a 73 auto car. It's got a 290 Cummins and a 13 speed. And we found this truck. My dad found it in uh, the town about 20 miles down the road. A man had it, older gentleman had it, that pulled uh, his low boy with it. He had a dozer, a bulldozer operation. And so he upgraded one to new. And uh, he told my dad that it was, uh, the engine was down in it. And so dad bought it and we brought it in and it ended up just being uh, something really pretty simple. And we began to truck with it. And, you know, this was in the 90s, 94, 95. So it's, you know, 20 years old then. So still saw some trucks like that around. And uh, I can remember when we started with it, we made several runs for a local customer here up into Ohio, just back to back to back to back. And it was, you know, it it wasn't too long till we said, you know, we need to upgrade this a little bit. It's a, it's a little rough. So it, we used it for a while. And then of course, you know, just started buying different trucks and then it kind of became the spare. And, you know, it was always handy because we could just pull it off and do something with it. Well, Zane and Zeb and I about five years ago said, well, let's, you know, let's bring it back up into shape. It was getting some rust on it, getting some bad stuff. So we stripped it down, put cab corners in different things, painted it and you know, put new tires and wheels on it, and, and uh, it's we we used to use it a month or so, a couple times a month. But you know, we we kind of retired, just let it let it be, uh, let it rest there for a little bit because we need to do probably some more things to it to uh, you know to make it where it would be something we could use again. But yeah, for a lot of years, it's you know for I I was trying to remember what we gave for it. I'm thinking eight hundred dollars or something. Wow. You know, and so. The use that we've gotten out of it's just been pretty, pretty incredible, you know. And it's kind of like this is the start of the start of this business, more or less. Yeah, it right? is, and that's you know we want to keep it around, and I think one day we'll go and do some more to it and get it, you know, where we want it to be. And did you uh, want to sell did it. you guys ever take it to any of the, the truck shows? Or we did. We've had it in several. We sponsored a, um, a breast cancer truck show here in Henderson for several years, so we'd take it to that, you know. And, take it around to different places and, and yeah, everybody looks at it and wants to you know they want to drive oh i'd like to drive it or yeah. you know <laughs> you know i think i don't know about anybody else out in the world but you know we get nostalgic and think oh i'd love to do that and then we get in them for a day and think oh man how good do we have it now you know yeah <laughs> you know it's it's i even though i enjoy driving the older ones I, the new ones are are you know they're definitely more creature comfort and uh, you know, it's you know, it makes you realize the generation of guys before us were just tough. They were tough. I mean, you know, when you go, you know, when you look at that cab over and think they're guys who spent three weeks at a time on the road, and that and you couldn't even, you know, you can't even stretch out and put your clothes. You, know, you can't stand up, put your clothes on, and you know, they were. We have a lot to. This industry is, you know, has a lot to be thankful for for the guys that went before us. They were, they were definitely the. You can understand why people thought they were the heroes and the, the knights of the road because they were they were tough, and uh, you know they worked hard. And th those were always the guys that I, that were my heroes. You know the guys you see that, and I'm thankful for the guys who, when I was, you know, 12, 13 years old and just in love with the truck, it didn't matter what it was that, you know, would let me come around while they were. I can remember in my neighborhood there's four or five guys, and you know they would run out west come in on the weekends and you know maybe they're working on the truck putting cds or something in it and as a kid they'd let me stand around and answer questions and talk to them and probably just aggravate them probably wish they went somewhere <laughs> else you know but uh, i'm very thankful and i remember those guys a lot in uh, you know day-to-day -day life i just think about them you know a lot of them's gone on you know and, yeah. and uh, how much they paved the way for what we yeah, can do you know? the groundwork for it, right? yeah and uh, you know i mean that's before interstates or you know when interstates were just coming in and yeah. you know things and it's uh there's always something to be thankful for and you know people that uh that helps nobody nobody